Hi, my name is Tasmiyat. I'm a tech journalist at Analytics India magazine. This is the first episode of Beyond the Code. So every week I'm going to be sitting down with my tech editor Tasif Alam and we are going to take deep dives into the different aspects of AI and technology. So today we are going to be talking about OpenAI, the mess that has unfolded yes, and yeah, the yeah. firing of Altman. Yeah. A lot of stuff is happening out there. Definitely. The only news that has kept working us constantly for 24 hours on the entire weekend. Yes. Yeah. 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 Let's dive into it. Yeah. On Saturday morning and uh, I got up at around 7 and I opened my phone. I saw this news. I was shocked. Mm shell shock like you know, what to do next yeah. so for me it was really funny because i woke up around and then i saw a message from one of my colleagues and she's messaged me at four in the morning that bro sam whiteman gone now the first thought is he's dead <laughs> and then i like i had i googled it and it's all over the internet he's got yeah. fired this yeah. and that again like not as shocking at his passing away, but then yeah. one of the most influential personalities of 2023 and it just, yes. the board just decided yeah. to kick, kick him out. Now my next thought is, oh, this is something similar, uh, similar to what happened to Steve Jobs. Yeah. So now he's gonna be coming to India, going for an entire nice yoga trip, <laughs> meditate in the Himalayas, yeah. probably gonna go back and yeah. revamp OpenAI. Yeah. Uh, but on a serious note, I mean, it seems that the future of OpenAI is at stake now. and. Uh, now Sam Altman has moved, has joined Microsoft, uh, you know, his colleague uh, Greg Brockman, who was in the board, he also stepped down and has joined Microsoft. And according to the latest news, uh, not just these two people, the entire team at OpenAI is going to uh, join yeah. Mi Microsoft. They have also signed a letter for that. Like a majority of them. Yeah, and majority of them. that includes Ilya Satskegar, who yeah. was initially up until yesterday, yeah. was <laughs> yeah. participating along yeah. with the board. Yeah. So, I mean, see, definitely it's a win-win situation for Microsoft yes, right now. Yes. And there are two to three reasons for this. First is they have the exclusive IP for whatever technology OpenAI has built. Mm. That includes the GPT-4. Yes, yes. A lot of their customers um, wanted to offer chat GPT or GPT through the Azure marketplace mm -hmm, because mm -hmm. of cybersecurity reasons. Mm. The employees. Yeah, employees. The employees. Yeah, employees. I mean, if 550 out of the 770 people are saying, we're going to leave. Yeah. So that's... Yeah, Satya Nadella was talking about this particular subject. Today, today morning, he was uh, discussing this in some podcast with some, you know, tech leader. And, and he said like, you know, that human capital is the most important thing in any company. Mm. And it's not the technology that you're building. It's the human capital. Like these humans who have built the technology, they are capable of building something like this. Mm -hmm. So, and now those those people, they are with Microsoft or they exactly. will be with Microsoft. Because even the guy, so after Chad GPT got its entire fame, uh, I remember Altman had tweeted like the, the mind behind Chad GPT was Jacob Pachochki. Oh, yes. And even he's left. Yeah. Or uh, like he's one of the people who hmm. wants to leave. Hmm. So, like where does OpenAI go from here? Wherever, you know, OpenAI goes from here, Microsoft has already acquired OpenAI. I mean, you won't say acquired, but you will say acquired because mm -hmm. the entire team is with Microsoft. Mm -hmm. So as uh, we discussed that, you know, that whatever, whatever a company is because of its people mm -hmm. and those people are not there at the company, it's just the name out there. Mm -hmm. So that will be a really interesting thing to see that even Anthropic, like, you know, the, this merger happens and OpenAI merges with Anthropic. Uh, so the same team uh, won't be there, people won't be there. The thing is now the, the OpenAI board has basically served it to Microsoft. Yeah. All this while we were assume, we were speculating, we were yeah. thinking, anticipating that, oh, Microsoft might acquire OpenAI, being yes. the hottest startup of the valley. But then now, the re because uh, Altman had a really loyal following in this yes. company. Yeah. And the people are ready to leave. Secondly, they've not given the proper reason for why they fired him. Yeah. So the majority of employees are really disgruntled yeah. and they're ready yeah. to leave. Mm -hmm. So basically, the, the there's going to be a lot of pressure on the board themselves. So then where do we go from now? Now they have a new CEO also. Yes, yes. In. Yeah. So uh, this CEO, Emmett Shear, he was uh, one of the co-founders at uh, Justin Twitch. TV and then which became yeah. Twitch. Twitch was acquired by Amazon for about a billion dollars. Okay. 
So, I mean, he seems uh, an interesting uh, guy, I mean, who has a track record, but we don't know that what he will do or will be able to do uh, in the space of AI, uh, as like, you know, Sam Altman has done. So it will be interesting to see that how the story unfolds in future. And uh, yeah, we'll keep an eye on that. Yeah. And yeah. Probably a new CEO in the next album. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>